Question three, Hugh Henry. To ask the Scottish Executive what steps it is taking to protect bus services across Scotland. Stuart Stevenson. The Scottish Government remains committed to promoting the use of bus services in Scotland. We're taking forward a number of initiatives with local government partners and bus operators to maintain and improve bus services. These include quality partnerships, punctuality improvement partnerships and the appointment of a senior bus development advisor. Hugh Henry. Uh, thank you. Notwithstanding uh, the Minister's reply, presiding officer, um, there are still concerns in many parts of Scotland about uh, the quality, the consistency and reliability of bus services. Indeed, many of my constituents uh, living in Paisley, Johnson and Eldersley depend on regular and affordable bus services. I am aware from local operators of challenges in preserving current service levels. Will the Minister give a guarantee to my constituents that he will take steps to ensure that services will be protected without excessive fare increases? Minister. Um, I guarantee that I will work with the local authorities and uh, with STP, who are of course responsible uh, for bus services in the area uh, of the members' uh, constituency. I, I note with uh, very great interest and some substantial enthusiasm the plans by the City of Glasgow Council to introduce a statutory uh, quality uh, bus partnership, which is one of the ways in which councils are increasingly looking at uh, engaging with bus companies to address the concerns the member expressed. Christine Graham. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Many bus services, uh, Minister, as we know, should begin and end at a bus station, at least they ought to. Minister, we are aware that apparently due to ongoing tram work disruptions in Edinburgh Borders buses have been excluded from Edinburgh bus station, with travellers and staff consigned without any facilities to Waterloo Place, often after long journeys and in very inclement weather, which raises at least questions of health and safety. Is there a role for the Minister in remedying this situation, say through new regulations? Yes, sir. Um, I certainly agree, presiding officer, that uh, bus stations providing a range of facilities as they do an important part uh, of the bus infrastructure. Uh, my understanding is that uh, many of the services that uh, are not currently going to Edinburgh's bus station uh, made their own elective choice uh, to uh, terminate in places such as uh, Waterloo Place while the disruption from the trams was in place. I hope that bus companies will review uh, the needs of passengers and uh, look to ensure that they stop in appropriate places. I continue to engage with local government who exercise responsibilities for buses in this regard as in others.